So I'm a worm biologist and if you've ever seen a worm lab you see that they have a lot of petri dish waste and I wanted to decrease landfill waste, decrease energy waste and our, decrease our overall carbon footprint so I decided we should start using reusable glass petri dishes. So if you're interested in doing that, here's how you do it. In my lab, whenever anyone's done with plates, they put it over here by the autoclave. I recommend having a, an undergrad do this job. You just take your auger out, if there's auger. If there isn't, then you skip this stuff. I have plastic in here because I process it similarly, but it's going to be recycled. Because it does take a lot of work to do the glass. So we don't have 100%. Once you've been doing this for a, a while, you get really fast at it. After you've taken any auger out, is to soak it in bleach overnight. It's just a little bit of bleach, maybe like 5%, like you would do with, if you have glass pipettes. These is my glass ones, and this is my plastic. And these are the ones that were drying. So then after you soaked it in bleach water overnight, you take it out and I use the green part of a sponge to get the writing off. Then with the plastic, I just take them out to dry or you could dump it, let them dry and then recycle them. Then I take my petris and I sort them by size and I put them into plastic bins um, and then I communicate with my autoclave worker to get them dishwashed and autoclave. Then you just make the petri dishes into new plates like normal. Now it may seem like a lot of work, but it's really not that bad. You just integrate it in while you're waiting for like an incubation or a centrifuge and it's a good break if you need to not think so hard for a change.